Good evening and welcome to the Select Board Board of Health Sewer Commissioner's meeting of May 8, 2024. It is now eight after six. Um, this meeting will be held in a hybrid fashion with the opportunity for both in-person attendance and remote participation. Please note that while an option for remote attendance and or participation is being provided as a courtesy of the public, the meeting hearing will not be suspended or terminated if technological problems interrupt the virtual broadcast unless otherwise required by law. <clears throat> Members of the public with particular interest in any specific item on this agenda should make plans for in-person versus virtual attendance accordingly. The meeting will be held in person in the main meeting room of Deerfield Municipal Offices. In accordance with Mass General Law Chapter 30A, anyone intending to record the meeting must identify themselves to the clerk and provide their name and address for the record. All right, well, welcome. Um, call the meeting to order. Public comments suspended because this is such a brief meeting and it's basically um, to reorganize the select board after the election. Um, so, First off, I'd like to uh, uh, nominate Vice Chair for Vice Chair Trevor McDaniel. I think we need a chair first. Oh, okay. We do need chair. So do we have... have I'm, I'm have, the Vice Chair, but... Yeah, I know. Yeah. Do we have a motion I'd for like chair? I'd like to make a motion that we uh, have Tim Hilchey Chair of the uh, Select Board. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Blake Tim, Gilmore, aye. Trevor McDaniel, aye. Tim Hilchey, aye. Thank you. Okay, and now well, I will make a motion. Now you're meeting chair. Thank you. Now it's the new chair. I will make a motion to appoint Trevor McDaniel as vice chair. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Blake Gilmore, aye. Trevor McDaniel, aye. Tim Hilchey, aye. And right. finally, Trevor. Uh, I would like to uh, nominate uh, Blake Gilmore as clerk. Second. Any discussion? No. All right. All those in favor? Trevor Blake. McDaniel, aye. Tim Hilchey, aye. Blake Gilmore, aye. Great. Excellent. All right. Well, that's first order of business. Um, we have one small thing to do. We just need to authorize. Oh, go ahead. I wanted to also, oh, I would nominate you as the chair of the um, Board of Health because those are two different positions. Sure. So sure. make a motion to uh, nominate Tim Hilchey as chair of the Board of Health. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Trevor McDaniel, aye. Blake Gilmore, aye. Tim Hilchey, aye. Thank you. Great. All right. Anything else i got to remember? Greg? No, I think that's Before. good. We're, right. we're cut for right now. There'll be yeah, many more to come. Yeah, we're going to try to get this all <laughs> yeah. in and have Allie come up and speak as well. Um, so we have this uh, tree box filter project from the Municipal Vulnerability Preparedness um, Program that we participate in that's been in the works for almost two years. And um, we've finally got the signed contract from the contractor, John A. Cocott, to, who's going to perform, perform the work. This is for um, putting in a rainwater mitigation um, device in Old Deerfield across the street from the Deerfield Inn. Some of the MVP folks are here uh, for the meeting that's going to take place after this. And uh, so we've already voted on this. Uh, it's more of a formality. So. Um, Make a motion to sign the contract for the tree box filter of the MVP preparedness grant. Second. Um, any further discussion? Um, all those in favor? Trevor McDaniel, aye. Blake Gilmore, aye. Tim Hilchey, aye. So as your first official act, Blake, I'm going to let you sign first. And Mr. Chair, can I make a few comments? Yes, by all means. we're doing that. I was like, going to make some oh, comments, but you, you go are, ahead. No, oh, well, I can wait. Um, I just wanted to thank everyone for coming out tonight. I want to thank everybody for an amazing election. That was um, to see that many people come out, participate in their local government was pretty impressive. Um, I want to congratulate Blake Gilmore for, for uh, winning. And I want to thank Carolyn Shores Ness for her years and years of service on this board. She was um, tirelessly working to do good for the town of Deerfield. Um, and uh, to find us grant money to keep us safe during pandemics, to try to run flu clinics. To, I can't count the ways um, that I've learned from her and uh, I'll carry her knowledge going forward. Probably will lean on her still a few times here and there for advice, um, but I'm really excited for, um, for the future and I think we'll do, we'll do some good work this year as we, we hold meetings under your chairmanship, Tim, and um, 
just really, really was heartened to see how many, how many people came out. It was a very close election, but um, that's democracy, and I think, uh, I think it was just great to see people involved in coming out and, um, and supporting their candidate and uh, supporting the town of Deerfield in the end. So thank you all, and it's nice to see a full house tonight, or almost full. Um, I hope that stays for a while. That would be really great. So thank you. Yeah, I do want to second that. First, I want to thank Carolyn for being a good teacher the two years I've been on the select board. I've also learned a lot from Trevor, but Carolyn, her 40 years of experience are hard to imagine in public service. So um, I want to thank her, and um, I want to welcome Blake, and uh, we're going to continue to work for the town and uh, see if we can't continue making progress for everyone. And I also want to congratulate all the uh, other candidates who were elected, and uh, Amy Severance in particular had a writing contest. She was the only other. And I thank Dana Levine for her uh, participation in the process as well. So, um, you know, thanks for everyone turning out uh, for Blake's first meeting. And uh, Blake, would you like to have any? Sure. I, again, I'd like to echo the sentiments of uh, thanking uh, Carolyn for all her years of service to the town. And um, again, a well fought campaign. Um, and again, to uh, reiterate the fact that she's been here for such a long time, she's got a lot of knowledge. Um, and I did talk to Carolyn a lot in the past for different items, not necessarily for the Board of Selectmen. But, um, and then to my, uh, again, to everybody for coming out to vote, people that were uh, supporting me and came out with me, I th I'd like to say thank you to them as well. So, Excellent. Great. And um, is Allie available? Allie, do you want to just come up briefly so we can maybe help out uh, <coughs> before we have to? Okay. Yeah. It's hard to hear when you're online. Thank you. Eat the mic. Yeah. You want me to talk? You <laughs> want me I'm to talk loud? Of saying, yeah. Eat the mic. I can talk loud. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Got it. We'll work out that that means you too, Allie. <laughs> <laughs> Allison Maisley, Compliance Manager for Treehouse Brewing, and um, I am here also to echo the board sentiments uh, about Carolyn. I only got to work with her for a very short time, but it was truly an honor to have gotten to know her and Blake. I'm sorry to crash your welcome party with this <laughs> agenda item, so thank you for letting me join you. And I look forward to working with you as you know this uh, as you enter your role with the board. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. So, could you briefly? Um, I know you're looking to hopefully get a conditional approval. Can you just briefly um, tell yes. us where we we are? Absolutely. I know I've I've popped on a few select board meetings recently just to give you um, updates about our emergency action plan, which was. Um, the most time consuming <clears throat> part of the new uh, or the upcoming event season. Um, mm -hmm. But there is a half marathon that uh, we would like to announce uh, to give people some time to prepare and train and to plan their fall schedules. I mean, fall in Deerfield is beautiful, so we want to make sure people plan to come here mm -hmm. to see the beauty that is Deerfield, run in a nice big circle around it, and uh, then come hang out at Treehouse. And we want to also involve the community in that and have volunteers throughout the community so that they can also join in that festivity and kind of make it a really, really fun event for everyone in Deerfield. Those from Deerfield and those coming to Deerfield for the first time or for a second time. Um, and so, I uh, sit before you tonight to ask for conditional approval based off of you know, some public safety um, needs being met mm -hmm. as we sort of continue to work on that um, with the emergency action plan and with the um, concert season. We're learning a lot. We learned a lot from last year's half marathon and we are open to community input to continue to learn before that event rolls around, but we do want to give you know our runners some time to prepare. So mm -hmm. that's why I'm asking for conditional approval tonight, and I'm happy to also not take up too much of your time tonight, but come to next week or several yep. times throughout the summer to kind of give updates as they go. 
Yeah, so um, I think one of the things that you may have learned from your last year's experience was that you started maybe a little too late. Exactly. So you're going to be on the road at 8 a.m., is that what you're We're thinking? We're pushing it by half an hour, and we, we've done a whole sort of outline for how that will improve things um, mm -hmm. to get all of the bulk of runners through the main part of town, past the church, before there's right. a real need to use those roads. So we hope that by pushing it forward half an hour, that will alleviate some of the tension in that area and the road use. We will continue to work with the police to sort of fine-tune how all of that goes down, but that was one area we could definitely make adjustments and, and see a very, very um, good change or positive change. I had uh, I've been following this too, and I've been talking with. I know you've been meeting with all the um, public safety officials, and I talked to Adam a bit, um, and I got an email from him too as an update from your recent meetings as well. And uh, I was pleased to see some of the things that were, you know, settled on. And and you sent a sent an email today too. Um, the community liaison is great. Mm -hmm. That way we can communicate as it's going on if people need emergency or something like that um so working with um dmsc sports is going to be very helpful take some load off the police department take some load off of your staff and can really focus on that and then i love the community involvement the donation to the schools um and working with frontier athletics and national honor society language clubs um and i know you know we are in favor i think of this um my or I am in favor of this, and I think my my concerns have been a second egress, and I know that mm -hmm. you're working on that, and it won't be able to get done for this item. But um, we have come up with a solution for that. Yes, and that's what I've heard. You're going to do mm -hmm. the the drop off and no parking on site. You'll have yep. an off site parking and some buses letting people off and then picking them up there again. Um, and I think that makes sense for this one. But certainly, anything going forward would have a Absolutely. Second means of aggress. Even and I know DOT you're... echoes those sentiments, so Correct. don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Um, and then, uh, and I know you're coordinating with the other events in town, like the craft mm -hmm. fair and stuff, to try to not group up on that same day. So I think... Um, yeah. So yeah. Um, it sounds like uh, you've also spoken with Blake. I and, did. I had the pleasure. So we've had a conversation with all of us at different good. times. So um, if there's... No other. Th I'm going to make a motion. For, if there's any further discussion after I make the motion, fine. Um, so I'd like to make a motion to conditionally approve your application, conditioned upon final approval of the EAP and your appearance at next week's May 15 meeting to give a detailed presentation of what you're hoping to do and what your treehouse's plans for you know being an active participant in the community are. So. Um, that's 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 the motion. I'll second the motion for discussion. Is there any discussion? Okay. Hearing none. Uh, all those in favor? Trevor McDaniel, aye. Blake Gilmore, aye. Tim Hilchey, aye. Great. So, is there Thank anything you. else? That Thank you, and I, I appreciate you. it. And I will have much more organized thoughts for you next week. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds we'll be, good. We'll be a lot better off. Uh, <laughs> like you'll have more time, and yep. um, it's just that we're backing up against uh, another meeting totally that's supposed fine. to take place yep. in here. So, yep. Um, Welcome, Blake. Thank you. Thank Looking you so much. With you all good to see else. you again. Good yep. Way. Thank you. Have a good night. Um, is there anything else? That Nope, not okay, that I have. Okay, so I'll, I'll accept the motion to adjourn the meeting. I'll make a motion to adjourn the select board meeting. I second. Any further discussion? No. Nope. Hearing none, all those in favor? Trevor McDaniel, aye. Blake Gilmore, aye. Tim Hilchey, aye. Great. Thank so you. So you have a...